Hello guys, welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. In today's video I have a very special guest here, Raymond Spar, otherwise known as Happy, Happy Space Studio. Room. Happy Space Studio, no, no, no some, Happy Space someone else. Uh, <laughs> someone I don't know who is Happy Space Studio. <laughs> but welcome It'll, to Norway. Hi. How Mark. are you? Yeah, I'm fine. It's a uh, very pleasant journey to come here and you invite me in your own uh, pleasure though. Guys, guys, he's lying. He's actually been here for like three days. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I already. We've, we've had days. such a good time. Yeah, yeah, we have a good time. We've had a good time. We've been talking about shrimp non-stop and our wives have absolutely Com hated it. But complaining, really. Yeah, we've been I, I, you only talk about shrimps. Yes, this. For us, it's an important thing. So, yeah, we do. And this is uh, a video on how Raymond, how he breeds expensive Caradina beef and So, today we're going to talk about the concepts of basically the yeah. theory behind it. I don't know if you want to tell them a bit about, about yourself, where you're from. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm 52 years old and I'm from the Netherlands, people know. And uh, starting shrimps, it was because. Um, yeah, my body was was sick, so I have a nerve mu uh, nerve muscle disease, and I find something to fill my day. Some days I'm good, but there are also days that I'm not good, and uh, yeah, I stay in bed. But to fill my days, I I had a, a technical hobby before before I was sick, like uh, uh, RV, um, radio controlled uh, planes and cars. That was my hobby. Because my nurse, muscle nurse disease, my uh, fine mechanic for my hands doesn't work anymore. So I have to find something else because uh, I have a busy head. In my head, it's always busy. So I have to find something what uh, help me to be. Uh, how do you say, Ruster? Uh, yeah, you have to cut. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's fine. There, it's, uh, Basically, it's like um, I have to find something what 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 gives me good feeling. It's the same guy, guy. If you don't know, right, Raymond and me, we have we have so much in common. Right, I have issues with my back and whatever else, and Raymond has similar issues. Right? We've also shared similar <laughs> things with with our wives, for example. Yeah, that's fair. With the kids that we have. And our love for shrimp keeping, right? So that is what our video is going to be about today. I don't know, do you want to tell them a bit more about it? You, did you say you were from Holland? Yes, I'm from Holland. Yeah. And, and You're only 25. 25, <laughs> yes, I'm 25. 25. No, no. I, I'm 52 years old and uh, yeah, my shrimp room, I call it my happy space because it makes me very happy. Uh, there are, uh, in my rack, I have 28 aquariums with uh, lots of boa shrimps because yeah, I love them. I start with curl and I end up with very nice ones. Um, and I do it different. I have a different approach to 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 do shrimping because I'm not in the hobby for breeding and selling. Of course, sometimes it happens, but it's not the main thing. I, I I have shrimps because I love them, so I want to have. A lot of different species, different colors. So that's what uh, what I go up to. So for me, it's uh, a different way. Um, my shrimps have to be healthy, but also be beautiful, and so I can enjoy it the longest way. So I have find uh, a method that they they are long in my uh, life. So that's the story. Yeah, that's the story, and it's, it's it's by following Raymond's methods as well. Because if you don't know, guys, right, I have uh, I've kind of struggled with consistently breeding Caradina shrimp. It's very easy to how would you say, it, Raymond? It's very easy how to to get lucky and breed shrimp very well in one tack, one time for videos. It's very very easy to do, right? So. Yeah. But it's, it's much harder to do it very, very consistently and to show in your tank that you really know what you're talking about and have basically thousands of shrimp. So if you go to anybody else's YouTube channels or if you're on Facebook and stuff, we don't want to do negative stuff, right? There's no, not going to be no, anything no. negative in this video. But just as an example, if you go to someone's video and they're telling you how to breed shrimp, the proof in the pudding rate right, should be the baby shrimp in the tank. That's the proof. 
definitely. Because yeah. the proof is, is the, the if there are a lot of baby shrimps, you know it's going good. But the mo the, the most important point uh, for for shrimp keeping, so not breeding, but keeping, because if the tank is healthy, the breeding goes instead. You don't have to do anything about it. And the most important is stabilize. Tank has to be stable, not like putting too much stuff in it. What what you don't use because it. it uh, your water value have to be like a straight line or it can be go a little bit higher, higher, higher with the values but not like this. If it goes like this you swim go like that and you lost them. So I think stable tanks is the best way to to keep shrimps. And uh, so how, how would you get stable tanks? I do it a different way but I don't do water chains. I do a proper setup, cycling proper cycling and do it very long it's between 8 to 12 weeks it depends uh, how, how, how the tank develop uh, you need good stuff to start with sometimes some people say yeah it's expensive but if it's expensive for you I think maybe you have to find a different hobby because good stuff are expensive that's how it works in this life but if you start with good products you take the time um, you need plants. Plants are very important in your tank. So Moses, uh, uh, you can yeah you can use a, almost every uh, aquatic plant in your tank because it's uh, it's also uh, work like a stabilizer in your tank. So yeah, that's one of the things. Yeah, you guys, I'm not. I'm going to just tell you this up front. Right? We we actually have like a list of stuff to go through, but mm -hmm. I think. But see, see, this is what I'm trying to get across to you guys, is see when you start to know what we're talking about, you actually, you don't really need this stuff. No. Right, you don't, you don't, you don't need to write the stuff down and, and go from scripts, because you already have all the information in your brain to start with. Right? So, um, what, the way me and Raymond wanted to do this video was, we wanted to have like a, a proof of concept, right, so Raymond's concept is, Good food. Keep it simple. Don't yeah. mess with the tanks. Have plants. Uh, don't do water changes. Uh, yeah, I, I don't do water changes at all. Just the proper setup. What I told, eight to twelve weeks, and I top off my water with with uh, pure aero water, but uh, I lower it, in because I I have a very big buffer tank, about three hundred liters. I put uh, pure osmosis in it. And then I put uh, 30 mil of uh, Sierra pH minus, and that's go automatically in the tank. What what is evaporated, it's filled. I have to do nothing about it, and it go it goes good for years, years and years and years. I have tanks. They are now the soil is in it for almost three years, and the shrimps breeding. A lot of things. I can't show them here because <laughs> I don't can bring my tanks here. But he can't, he can't show you them here. I, but he, I am because I've started to follow the same way that out. Raymond does it, the same method. Yes. Raymond said to me, Mark, try this method. Right? You said, remember, you said, yeah, just try it in one tank for three months. And give me three see. months, right? So Raymond said, try it in one tank for three months. But I, I decided to try it in all my tanks because I, at that point, right, guys, I thought I had nothing to lose. He had some problems in the tank. I had some problems. That, my so. problems were uh, low baby shrimp survival, the odd adult shrimp death, and uh, once I started to do it this way, it just completely changed. It just basically a 360 of uh, how bad it was before. It turned into basically success. Right. So all my tanks are now full of baby shrimp. All of them. Yeah. Even the tanks where we think uh, we talked about this the other day. I have a tank down here with blue bolts in it. And we, I think there's an issue with the tank, but my issue is something that we wrote down here, didn't we? Yeah, patience. Patience, patience is one patience, of the right. I have, golden I, rules. One of the golden rules. You have to have patience because my patience is... I, I, I think I have a lot of patience, but when... Do you? Yeah, when you're not patient enough. <laughs> because remember what Raymond said at the start there, you have to give this method a chance. Right? So you're talking three or four months or whatever it is to make it work. Yeah. Right, so this is on my one problem tank that really isn't a problem. I have to give it more time because yeah. there's lots of very healthy uh, female shrimps in there, and they're all like buried. 
and stuff. So yeah, you just have to. That's the first good sign. Married women. Married women. And then yeah, the babies comes. They have to grow, of course. I forgot one important thing. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Put leaves in your tank. Don't put hundreds in it, but put leaves in it when it starts uh, falling apart, the shrimp's eating, and you see there is a lot of eating are gone. Put new one in. And don't take the old ones out. Let it there because it gives a lot of biofilm for the smallest shrimps, and they need it to grow. So leaves, uh, botanical leaves are very, I think, also very important. Yeah, I do the I do it the exact same way. I have. Um, I I I'm not quite sure if it's possible to overfeed a tank with leaves. I've had some no, people it's not tell possible. me that. I try it. But, I try it. But I tend to go on the side of uh, being very cautious. Like I won't put a whole caterpillar leaf in my tanks. I do. That's why. I, right. And <laughs> so I've actually good. been cutting them up into quarters, and it's okay doing it that way. As That's long not, as yeah. as long as you don't uh, add. Millions of them, I think. No, millions is not. That's not good. But that's. But if you put uh, five catapa leaves in a 60 liter tank, your water get brownies or maybe yellow. So it's good for the water value. It's good for the shrimp, but you can't see it through your tank anymore. So I always say maximum two two big leaves. We we, we use big ones. I can show you. I I sent some to Mark. This is uh, yeah. This is the XL size, and in the third, uh, 60 liter tank, I use just two of those. You know, one thing I wanted to touch on, right? Because people will ask us in the comments because I, I have made my own videos explaining this, the way that I do it, which is based off of the way Raymond does it. And the question that I got on my last video when I tried to explain how this method works was. Uh, the no water changes, why does it work right? And I, I think it's because, I don't know what you think it is, but, but I think it's because of the active soil itself. The active soil it is. Is, is basically a giant filter and, it, and it, it basically sucks all the toxins and nutrients, nutrients and stuff, well maybe not nutrients, it will, it will actually suck nutrients to the water, the fertilizers yes, and stuff, it, it will absorb it into its actual self. Right, because I notice it's very evident. Right? See if I did um, a water change from a Caradina tank, and if I did a water change from a Neo Caradina tank, the water in the Caradina tank with no water changes is crystal clear. Yes. Right. But if I did it in my Neo Caradina tank where there's no active substrate, the water is it's it has like a yellow. It has a little bit of a yellow tinge. Right, so I wanted to put that in there. I, I don't know what you think about it. Really. Mm. Um, yeah. Well, what about to start before? If uh, water change, uh, the name in water change is change. So I think if you put, it, it's about the Caradina tank. I think if you put new water in it, you change the value in your water. So I think, I'm not sure, but I think it gives problems for the bacteria what's in the filter, not for the shrimp, because some, some. Some breeders send the shrimps in, in pure osmosis water because they can pollute it in, 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 uh, in a transport time. So I think um, if you change water, the stability in the water is going like a flow and the flow is not good for the bacteria in the filter, that's what I think. Did we, yeah. did we mention the food? Did we mention it? Yeah, you need good food, right? Good food. Um, to be healthy. You need good food. Uh, yeah, same, it's same for shrimps. They need good food, and y there are so much foods on the market. And, and, and I'm happy I tried hundreds of them. And there, from those hundreds of foods, yeah, there's maybe only uh, four. What I, I I don't call names because, but for me, there are only four. The people who know me know what I talk about. But for me, there are only four brands of food where I say, okay. This is quality food, and your shrimps uh, grow on it. The color is good, uh, bird weight is good of the young ones. So, good food, don't uh, uh, save your money for it. Take, take it. It's yeah, yeah, because it's, it, it's uh, the, uh, what I would say as well is it's go by people that actually breed the shrimp, go by yeah. their. Go by what they use. If, if they're successful with the shrimp, copy them. Just yeah, do exactly copy them what they do. Food. 
You know what I'm saying here? Look, just copy, copy, copy I don't what copy he's yet. doing. Copy. <laughs> It'll work. That's one one, one nice thing. I, I I follow Mark from almost the beginning, 2017, and start seeing his his uh, contents on YouTube. Then I decided to go to a swim contest to look what it was. It was in Vivarium. But it's because of him and because a guy in the Netherlands, because I saw him on this contest. And because of him, I was like, okay, I have some Neo Caradina, but I want to have Caradina swim. Only the price in the Netherlands of Caradina swims, I was really like, whoa, how I have to pay that? So. I was a stupid guy. I thought, oh, I, I ordered some shrimps from far away, from Malaysia, from a guy, because he told me, hey, that's very nice. I was in love with, uh, um, how do you call those shrimps? Uh, nanashis. I was in love. So I thought, I want to have nanashis, but I couldn't find them good ones or a good price. So I thought, okay, then I take fancy tigers because I love those too. So a Malaysian guy told me, I can send you a uh, nice fancy tiger. So I was the happiest man in the world. He asked uh, $150 US dollar for 32 shrimps. Yeah, <laughs> they were not worth it. But I was happy because it was one of my first Carolina shrimps that I get. But I get because of this gentleman, he said, uh, because his movies, I was <laughs> okay, I have to take Carolina shrimps. So, yeah. Yeah, I would like to tell it to the people. Yeah, very good. That, that, that's why I have so much Skagadina. Yeah. I learned so much from Mark's videos in the beginning and I make a lot of errors because, yeah, my mind was thinking this and uh, the provisions say, hey, you have to do that. Uh, so I was, no, I go my own way. So, yes, that was not the best way. So, in the, I have aquariums for experience with aquariums since I was eight. So my first aquarium I get from my birthday uh, because there was something happened at home, but I get an aquarium. So it's always a red thread in my life. And after that, I start wall start aquariums because I like the way it was. Uh, I have had the time I was not very rich. So wall start was only the class tank, sunlight from outside. A lot of plants, animals from the from the lake, what I scooped out with a net, and I was very good with the wall stuff because I had aquariums age for eight, eight, nine years, and they develop all the time, and they, yeah, just start get eating better. How older they start? So I thought the wall stuff method. Why I can try it in my shrimp tanks? So that's because that's the reason that I thought. Maybe I have to try. I heard some people, yeah, we do no water trades. I asked for, what, how you do it? But they don't tell the sweet t stuff about it. So I thought, okay, then I take the wall start away with the soil, what we can bought. And I always use uh, the ADA, uh, ADA one, or ADA cold, how you want to call it. And it, I succeed with it because the 24 tanks in my rack, I do regular water chains and I uh, do every stuff you can buy for health, shrimp health. I had in my closet, I put in the tanks, but they don't work for me. So the tank where I do the wall stop method, no water chains at all and quality food and only leaves, that tank development very, very good. So I get uh, from 20 shrimps in one year, I got 400 shrimps in the tank, Caradina shrimps, so it's good, yeah goes very fast I was okay so if this works in this tank I'm gonna try it in all the things and now I'm two years further and I I am agreed with that I only do the tanks like I do it like I do it now because it gives so much pleasure if you come on my happy way because everyone is invited and you look awesome. in my tank you will be surprised how much shrimps and how healthy they are um, my, my some people think because it's uh, OTS, old tank syndrome, we call it. They think it must be smelly, but it's all. It, it's not smelly at all. It's it's just clean, clean uh, aquariums. So your your Facebook page is, is happy shrimp. Happy shrimps. Yeah, happy shrimp. space shrimps. Happy, I keep happy space shrimps. shrimps. Yeah, you can find me there. And I I have an open profile, so you can look 
to all, all my stuff what they place. I'm not a good photographer. I, I, I shoot photos with a potato or a film with a potato. Oh, is but, the same with me? But, no, you're, I'm much better. <laughs> but it, 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 it is because my ner uh, nerve muscle disease, I can't hold my phone still because my, hand, my hand's always shaking. And they say, yeah, but you have stabilized stabilizer. No, it doesn't work. I, I bought once, my wife bought me a very good camera. I tried to, but still the photos were not like uh, I, I would like how they are. But I'm happy with the things that I have. And uh, if I see my pictures, yeah, it's a shrimp. Well, I love, so yeah, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. That, that, yeah, that's the story. I, some people complaining, yeah, you, you, your pictures are not uh, clear. But you can see what's on the picture, you see what is on the picture is good. Even it's good when they're not clear. It's good enough to see it's it. It's good it. enough to see it, yeah. yeah. I agree with those. So guys, if, if you have uh, any questions at all, uh, please leave them in the comment section yeah, below. leave them in the comments or Do go to my profile yeah. and I always try to answer. Uh, there are there are a thousand people who send me messages for how I have to do that, how I have to do that. And, point is I have 20 uh, uh, 28 aquariums in my in my rack so the different way for me is not only an easy way it is a cheap way because uh, screen keeping and especially expensive screen keeping it is expensive so and I don't have all the money to do that so I find a way that it's for me it's it's a good way to do and I think if you have more if you're very, uh, very, very clear with it, you, you can't do it in one tank, what I do, but I think it's not easy to do it in one tank. No, no I not, think it's not no. easy. So it's because, almost impossible. No, it's impossible, I yeah. think. Or you have to work with uh, pipettes and things like that. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So, but if you have a rack with more than eight aquariums, yeah, I can give you very good tips, I think. Yeah. yeah. So, you, do you, shall we go over the... What would you say? Top five tips. One Top last five. thing, yes. just to be very clear, because people will ask us. Let's see. Right. So, uh, the tips we've already wrote them down here. The first tip was start with easy shrimp. Right. So. Yes. Yeah, start with easy, easy, easy shrimps like uh, Tangerina tigers or just normal tiger Caradina shrimp or uh, with with uh, crystals. Crystals are very easy to to stand in the first time with Caradina shrimp. What would be the second tip? What do you think? For yeah, plants and moss. You need plants and moss in your tank. Don't look at too much to people who have bare tanks with only a piece of soil, and uh, because um, those people have have different way to keep shrimp because they breed shrimps to sell shrimps. So oh, they very, have a different very, different way. Now we really talk about shrimp keeping, not shrimp breeding. No shrimp breeding for, no, for money. Not, not for money. It's it, different. It, it, it is different. So yeah. I, I, I have no, no, no clue about how they do it. So. Yeah. Probably for number three. Good, good food. food. What, what, what said, good, yeah, so. good food, very important. Yeah, I, I can say I like Finn food, but I don't know if he likes it when I say I like his food. <laughs> I love no, my, my, well. my, my shrimp likes food. I like all the products of Finn because it succeeds me with, with, with what I'm doing. So, yeah, Finn products the best Probably I think number four number four is really really important patience patience, patience. if your scrims going uh, not active or sometimes streams die it is it, it's they, they get like only two the years old like so, they, so get, they get sick just like we do yeah they get yeah but be patient if there's something happened don't run to the shop buy this buy this to think you can help your shrimp because you make a chemical cocktail they don't like it I, I, I make the trial and errors for you so don't buy those stuff you don't need it patience if you have patience the tank come back to you finally one of the most important tips we've been over this we just clarify yeah I don't do other change no doesn't need water change, now I no it's, longer do water change. It's good for your own environment too, because uh, drinking water is going to be, the, yeah, in expensive. the Netherlands they say yeah. it's going to be expensive. They, they, I think between now and five years in the Netherlands they will double the price for drinking water. So if you don't do water change, yeah, you don't use less water and you don't throw the water away. So, but that's my 
for, my, for me, that's the most important thing. Don't do other change because you make a very stable environment for your spring. So that's they the, love it. They one really of the love things, it. One of the things I love about this method is how simple it is. Yeah, you it's, can't get any simpler than doing no water changes. And what I always say in Dutch, a lot of people know what, what, what I'm going to say. Stop messing around, you're killing around. Stop messing around. Yeah. Yeah. Stop messing stop, around, you're, stop you're killing around. Stop overdoing it in the yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add before we go? It's been, oh, by the way guys, I want to say a very big thank you to you. Yeah, everybody. it was a very pleasant, uh, we, we did some nice things. Yeah, we we've, were, had, we've had such a good couple of days yeah, together, we going for food, walking around, seeing Giant waterfalls, waterfalls yeah, yeah. It's been good, and we, what did we do? We went on a tour yesterday. It was just so good. And yeah, and, and yeah, you're welcome here. Yeah, you're welcome. I, maybe, Him maybe, and his wife are maybe we come back time. someday. Yeah. I don't know why, Soon, when, and how. Yeah. I, 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 I hope it's possible. One thing I want to thank my uh, GoFund uh, donations thank because you guys. because of you, I can sit here. So it's, I bring uh, when, when I came here. Of course, I'm not going with empty hands. I bring some uh, other nice things. Yeah, we will. Um, so I'll take some marker footage. He makes some marker, so I. You, put they probably. Will, I'll, I'll try and put the, all the footage through the video while we're talking as yeah, well. Yeah, that's, that's So you okay. can see, but you'll see these guys. I'll, maybe I'll just put this at the end so they can see. Yeah. We'll take some footage. And uh, yeah, Raymond, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for being it on my channel. It was a pleasure that you invite me here, and uh, yeah. It sounds stupid, but it's like a dream come true because you're, it's, you know, guys, it's, you're it's one like, of my favorite YouTubers. It's like YouTuber. he's my brother. Yeah, we, it's, it's like we're brothers we are nuts like... Uh, we, we, we are really nuts. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, guys. Okay, bye. Have a nice one. And, we'll uh, see you later. If you have questions, you know to find me. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.